Father, bring out the good word today, man. Y'all get a brother a hand, man. All praise to the most high. For waking up the people, man. The brother had a brother a strong message. Teaching that, you know, these, these sins keep us away from the Lord, man. The brother was bringing something out to the sister. Telling the sister, having a relationship with the Lord is keeping the Lord's commandments. And so-called, you so-called Christians don't understand that. You know, our people always have to say that when we have a relationship with the Lord, we pray to the Lord. I mean, think about it. How do you have a relationship with the Lord? I mean, do you just hug him? Do you, do you blow a kiss to him? Do you see him roses? You know, having a relationship to the Lord, what the Lord is doing, what he's saying. You know, it's obeying his commandments. That's how you have a relationship with the Lord, man. You know? A lot of people don't understand that. They're thinking having a relationship with the Lord is something emotional. But the Lord of obedience, man. The Lord of obedience. The thing, man. The reason why we suffer so much in this land called America, Babylon the Great, because we disobey the Lord's commandments. We up here eating what we want to. We up here suffering through, high, through hypertension, high blood pressure, heart disease. Diabetes, all these things are plaguing our people because we disobey the Lord's commandments. Bring it out, uh. Isaiah 65 and 2. I have spread out my hand all the day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good. The Lord said he spread his word, he spread his hand out all day to a rebellious people. And that's spreading the Lord's word. I Meaning he wants you to come in. He wants you to receive his word. But you are a rebellious house. You are a rebellious people because you don't want to listen to the Lord. That's why we suffer with these conditions. All these sickness and diseases, man. Bring it out one more time, brother. Isaiah 65 and 2. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good. You see that? The Lord said he spread of his hand to a people that walk in a way that's not good. That's your so-called black people, man. Now, hey, look here. It's okay for our people to come together and do things, but you can't come together in wickedness, man. So the Lord has spread his hand all the day long, man. Hey, all year long, the Lord been having disasters. The Lord been showing us the wars is going on. The Lord been sending the prophets out to the streets to wake up the people, showing that Christianity is a lie. Showing you that eating the bad things, the wrongful things, are cause your body to get sick. The Lord has spread his hands all the day long to a rebellious house. That's why you stay up in the hospitals. That's why your back ache when you get up. That's why your, your feet get swollen, your legs get swollen, because you're not doing what the Lord say. The Lord gave you a dietary law to follow, and our people fail to do that thing. Our people fail to obey the Lord. So we are a rebellious house. The Lord told our women to wear dresses, not to put on pants. Oh, yeah, we but, wear but, our but, pants. But not only on Sunday, sister. <laughs> that, that's good, but not we only on Sunday. Prayers. We're supposed to continue to, to do what the Lord tells us to do. Not only when we want to. So we got to show the youngins, to you sisters, your older sisters, you have to show the young sister how to dress, how to dress modest. That was the example you're supposed to show. But here it is, our sister got on tight dresses, Tight pants, excuse me, tight pants and shorts. That thing going to be rebellious to the Lord, man. That's a rebellious spirit. The Lord said rebellious is a, is a spirit of witchcraft. Right. That's a rebellious spirit when you come out not doing what the Lord say, man. And some of you sisters got husbands at home. Some of you sisters got husbands at home. And you still do it. You still come out here and show you're behind. But the Lord said all the day long he is spreading his hand to a rebellious house. Continue, brother. Which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. After their own thoughts. See, a lot of our people thinking that, hey, I can celebrate Christmas. I can celebrate my birthday. I can celebrate whatever the white man tell me out of my own thoughts, you know? This is what I want to do. But you ain't considering that one time what the Lord said do, man. You have to consider who you are in the first place, and you have to consider who your God is, man. You know? Hey, so called black man, how you doing, brother? Let me ask you a question. Thank you, brother. Hey, hey, let me ask you a question, brother. Hey, uh, who God are we, man? I mean, who is our God? Well, okay, we are God. Let me ask you a question. 
Who do we belong to? Who created us as a people, man? My brother, see how people can't answer that thing, man? Because we don't know who God is, man. We don't know who we are as a people. Therefore, we don't know who our God is, man. Somebody oh. bring out Isaiah 1 and 3, man. Isaiah 1 and 3. See, our people lost. You guys, brother? This is oh, man. Our people lost, man. We don't know who our God is, man. We've been out here at this festival. Hey, having a nice time. But we haven't considered who our God is, man. We don't consider who we belong to. We've been in America for the last 500 some years. And not, time, not one time have we considered, or even asked our pastor, or even asked our teachers, the school system, of who we are as a people, man. And you think the so-called white man gonna tell you who you are? No, he's gonna tell you that you're African American. He's gonna tell you that you're black. He's gonna tell you that you're anything but a child of God. But we about to bring it out. Because a lot of our people, like that brother who just passed by, he didn't know who he was. Bring it out. The people that provokes me to anger continually to my face. And you are a people that provoke the Lord to anger continually into his face. When you sister do what you want to do, when you wear your pants, not wearing dress, not dressing modest, you, you anger the Lord in his face, man. When you brothers and sisters, you eating pork, swine, red lobster, crab, shrimp, and you be with these other nations of people. That brings anger to the Lord's face, man. The Lord is anger when you see interracial marriages, man. When he see That's sisters right. with other people, man. He see our brothers with white women. Right. He see our sisters with, with white men. That's right. That brings anger to the Lord's That's eyes, right. man. That's right. The Lord is anger with you, sister. He has anger with our people because our people left the Lord, man. Right. We left our first love. Get out. Huh? Get out. We left the Lord's first love, man. See, I know what the Christian church is never going to tell you this. They're going to tell you, you love is love, right? Love everybody. Then we teach our kids to love every damn body. Then they end up having a noose on their damn neck because they're loving everybody. Because you have not taught who is to proclaim, I mean, uh, what's the clean and unclean, man. Give me uh, Hosea 1 and 3. Because you don't know who you are, man. Hey, and a lot of times, it's not our sister's fault. It's not our brother's fault, because we ain't been taught nothing, man. We don't know who we are as a people. We don't know who we are. Hey, black people, somebody come up here and tell me, who are we as a nation of people, man? Who are we that God told us who we are? Tell me, somebody, because you don't know, man. You don't understand that. You know? The Lord has chosen you to be a people, man. You are God's people. How you doing, sister? How you doing, brother? And do you guys know who you are, according to the Bible? What's your name? What's our nationality as a people? What would she say, brother? What she say? She was trying to say something. I can't hear. Come up and say, we can listen to you, sis. Do you know who you are, according to the Bible? Because we're teaching our people that God didn't look like this. Jesus Christ didn't look like this. You know? So who gave us this image right here? Who? Born, born, that's right. So called white people, right? They gave us this image. Because when you read the Bible, Jesus Christ did not look like this guy. This guy looked like a homosexual. Right. He like a pedophile. Right. Like a molester. He don't look like a stern man. Jesus Christ was a man man's man. Right. You know? They always want to show you Bob Vila. A damn John Wayne's a man's man. Now that's not a man's man, man. Christ was a man's man, man. And Jesus Christ was a black man. Did you know that, brother? Did y'all know that, sister? He was what you call a Negro. He would look like this brother right here, this painting right here. This is what Jesus Christ would look like, according to the Bible. You want, did you know? Let me bring it out in the scriptures. Did you know who Jesus Christ was in the Bible, brother? Hey, look. Okay, we're going to bring it out anyway. Because a lot of our people don't know that thing, man. A lot of our people don't know what Jesus Christ was, man. But we're about to prove and show you. Show many of our people out here, man. Because after today, our people are going to go right back to the Christian churches and worship white Jesus. After this whole festival is over, celebrating black love, Latino love, a, a black and Latino gathering, or what they call Caribbean gathering, we're going to go right back to the Christian church tomorrow and serve white Jesus. Right, right. 
which is an abomination to the Lord, man. Which is an abomination to the Lord. But we're about to show you the color of Jesus Christ according to the Bible. You black people and you Hispanic people need to know this thing, man. Because you love wickedness, man. Hey, brother, hey, brother, right there, y'all can't be effeminate according to the Bible, brother. He said, no effeminate shall inherit the kingdom of God. Did you know that, sisters and brothers? So you can't be a homosexual and expect to come into the kingdom of the Lord. Bring it up. Gonna, it ain't going to happen. No way, no how. Bring it out, our uh, revelations. Because a lot of people don't know the, the color of Jesus Christ. Because your pastor don't give a care about you. Only thing your pastor wants is your money. Right. Only thing he wants is your tithing. Right. Only thing he wants is your, your bills, your, your payments to your car. Bring he want to put it in so he can pay his cars off. Pay his house. But we're about to show you the image of Jesus Christ. Bring it out, Ark. Uh, Book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head on his head and his hairs on his face were white like wool. Do y'all know that? What's woolly? I'm going to ask my people. Hey, this is a black festival, right? This is a black festival because we're going to be real up in here, right? So what's woolly? Woolly is a, a coarse like texture, right? Sheep has woolly hair, right? Cotton, that's woolly. What people on the planet Earth have woolly hair? Huh? So-called black people. That's who? So-called black people. We're at the Black Festival, right? So we're going to keep it black. We're going to keep it 100. We're going to show you the true color of Jesus Christ according to the Bible. Come over here, sister. Come over here, brother. That come along the word. Continue, brother. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was a flame of fire. You know why, brother? You know why Jesus Christ was eyes was a flame of fire? Because he's stressed out so much, man. He's stressed out so much he had to drink wine. He's seen the conditions of his people, and when you read the book of Genesis, his his eyes were red with wine. You drink wine to cool off, man. You drink wine to, to, to cheer your mind. You know. He had to see the condition of his people, man. Hey, Christ's eyes was red, man. That brother had to drink here to get that, that, that stress off him, man. You understand? Continue, brother. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. And his feet, hey, black people, Hispanic people, the Lord Jesus Christ, his feet was like fine brass. What color is brass? Hey, brother, can you tell me what color brass is? Do y'all know? Is brass white? Uh, is it brother? No. What color of brass? You say, what you say brass is, brother? Like a golden brown color. Come on, come on, that's right. Get up, brother, here. That's right. A goldish brown color, man. That's what color Jesus Christ was. Since that Jesus Christ's feet was like fine brass, as if it burnt in a furnace. You understand? So when you put something brown in the oven, what color does it come out? Black or dark brown. You understand? So Jesus Christ can't be a white boy. Jesus Christ cannot look like this. So when you go to church tomorrow, after you got to leave in a black festival, you understand that Jesus Christ was a black man. That's right. You understand, brothers and sisters? Because our black and brown brothers and sisters, we think that Jesus Christ was a white boy. We think that Jesus Christ looked like damn uh, Chuck Norris. Right. You know? Bring it out. With, with the damn cowboy head on his head, man. Bring it out. Right. You know, he looked like John Wayne with, with his cowboy suit on to my put him up. Bring it out. You know, Jesus Christ was a Negro. He was what they call a nigger. But you know that, brother? And, and let's show this brother in the scriptures that they called the prophets in the Bible nigger. Did you know that, brother? We about to show you the Bible. We're about to keep the black festival black today, man. We're about to keep it what they say, 100. Because your, your Christian pastors, they're not going to keep it 100 with you. They want their $100 bill in your pocket. That's what they want. They want $100, $100 bills in your pocket. Yo, brother, did you know that Jesus Christ looked like you, little brother? Jesus Christ looked just like you, brother. That's right. I got the glasses like you. He looked just like you, brother. Remember that. He did not look like a white boy. And I know our people love to protect that white image, man. Because we love these evil, demonic people that have been plaguing us since the day one since we've been over here. 
But Jesus Christ was like us, and we're going to claim that thing, man. So we back right now, we're about to show you that the prophets in the Bible were called nigger. Did you know that, sister? Hey, sister, did y'all know that Jesus Christ and the prophets in the Bible were called niggers? We're about to show you according to the Bible. You don't want to hear that, sister? You want to hear the truth? We're about to show you the truth. You came to a black festival, but now we're about to give you a black festival right, right here, man. Right, right. Now we're about to give you some truth. Right. Listen to this. Bring it out, Rob. The book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 1. Uh -huh. Now there were in the church that was in Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon. Hey. So in the church of Antioch, there were certain prophets called Barnabas and Simeon. Right? There was the prophets of Christ. They was following the, 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 the logic of Christ, the doctrine that Christ gave them, man. So they was in Antioch, they were in Rome. Right? Continue, brother. Barnabas and Simeon, that was called Niger. Oh, what, brother? Niger. Niger. Hey, nigger just another word meaning nigger, right? Did you know that, brother? Did you know they called the prophets in the Bible nigger? Let me ask you a question, brother. What other people in the planet Earth they call nigger? Say what, brother? That's right, that's right. Get that brother here right there. Did that brother know something right there, man? That brother, that young brother, that young lion, he said, that the people on the planet Earth who else called niggas is black Americans. We so-called black Americans, we are the people of the Bible, man. If you didn't know that, if you thought Jesus Christ looked like a white boy, you've been sadly mistaken. You know, you've been duped. You've been had. You've been bamboozled. Because Christianity is a lie and is the father of lies, man. Bring it out, up. Definition of Niger. It comes from the Latin meaning black. You hear that? So the word nigger, which, which you know what? It actually says nigger. That's what it really says, nigger. Put another G right there. That's what it means. It just means black. So Jesus Christ and the prophets of the Bible were black. Did y'all know that? Y'all came today to a black festival to learn about true black history, man. True black culture. You know, the Bible is true black culture, despite what anybody think, man. Despite what your pastor have taught you, black history is in the Bible. You know? And the white man is the devil that the Bible speak of, man. We have to say that thing. We have to tell you that the white man is the devil. Because he has lied so much throughout the histories, man. He has lied about our people throughout the history. You know? Because I know a lot of our people don't believe that, that slavery was in the Bible. You know, when we read about slavery in the Bible, yeah, it do ponder in our head that it may be talking about us. But then you see a picture of a bunch of white people, then you watch the book of the, the Ten Commandments, and you're thinking that Christ was a white boy. You're thinking Moses was a white man. But according to the Bible, Moses was a black man, man. Right, right. Moses and the people of the Bible were black. Hey, so was Pharaoh. We're bringing you true history, man. True knowledge to a black culture, to a black uh, festival, man. Let's bring out slavery in the Bible, man. And the Lord prophetically told our people that this thing will happen to us. Continue, brother. The book of Lamentation. The book of Lamentation, chapter 5 and verse 7. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. See that? Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we are born the iniquities. Slavery. We are born the iniquities, meaning the sin. Now slavery is the consequences of sin. We are born the iniquities. The things that our forefathers went through, we went through the same situation. So hold on, hold on. So the people in Egypt, the Hebrews in Egypt, they went through slavery, right? And I know a lot of people don't understand why they went into slavery, but they went to slavery because they was idol worshiping. They were idol worshiping the Egyptians, the Africans. When we start idol worshiping the Africans and the Egyptians, the Lord put us in, put us in slavery. He allowed the Egyptians to take us down. 
Did you know that, brothers and sisters? So now we bear the iniquities of our forefathers. They got put in slavery for for obeying for disobeying the Lord and worshiping idols. Now we in slavery to this day for worshiping idols. And this is the biggest damn idol right here that we worship today, man. The biggest damn idol on the planet Earth is your neighborhood friendly white man. That's right. That's the biggest idol that our people worship. And we love to teach our children to worship that evil thing too, man. Hey, sister and brother, do you know who you are according to the Bible? Do you know that God only chose us as a and nobody else? Right. Hey, black man, you don't be a king on the earth, man. Right. You won't be a true king on earth according to the Lord of the Word. The Lord said he's going to make us kings and rulers on the earth. Hey, sister and brother, don't you want to be kings and rulers on the earth? Huh? Our sister call themselves queen, but we don't act like it. Right. Our brothers call themselves king, but they don't act like it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The true kings of the Lord, the true kings of this earth are the people in the Bible, man. That's right. You all be the Lord's command. The Lord said, I will make you ruler of many. And bring out Deuteronomy 76. Our people don't believe this thing, man. We don't believe this thing. We believe anything the white man tell us. That we equal. How are we equal to the so-called white man when we, when we look better than him? Bring it out. Huh? How are we equal to him when our skin glow from off our body? That's right. When you look at him and he's getting the sun, his skin about to get burnt up. That's right. You know, his hair frizz up. When we look at our hair and our skin, we golden on earth, man. How are we right. equal to the white man? You know, and some of our people vote to be equal to this damn devil. How are we going to be e equal to a people that we better in, man? You understand that we spiritually, physically, uh, excuse me, in appearance, better than the so-called white man. Right. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. That are upon the face of the earth. Hold on. No, no, brother. You mean equal to everybody, brother? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now, we the same as everybody. We, Hey, look. We the same as everybody, right? But the Bible says above all people that's upon the face of the earth. And I know you Christians can't hear that, man, because you love the devil, man. I mean, when I say that, you love the so-called white man. Because you want to be equal to him because he's on top right now. But the Lord said you are above all the people that's upon the face of the earth. Did y'all know that, man? Did y'all know that? The only thing the Lord requires is your obedience, man. That's all he requires is your obedience. You know that? Teach our young sisters and our young brothers that the Lord God that created the heavens and the earth, that he only chose you. Hey, so-called black man. How you doing, brother? That's good, brother. Hey, come over here for a minute, man. Let me show you. Okay, when you get off the call, come on back, brother. We got some good news to show you, brother. Because how you on the call, you in this festival, man? How you gonna hear something, brother? You wanna know something? Hey, brother, come on to the front, brother. How you doing, brother? Oh, God, man. My name, brother, you cool? How you doing, brother? You doing good, black man? Hey, brother, do you know who you are going to the Bible, brother? Huh? Do you know who you are according to history? Like who we are as a people? That's right. That's right. We are strong people, man. Right? We are strong people. The Lord says, um, I'm going to read Deuteronomy 76 again, man. Right? But see, the thing is that we are strong in might. Because the Lord made us strong in might. What was that? What was that? Strong in might. You are mighty people. Chapter 1 and verse 9. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel. People of who, brother? The people of the children of Israel. And so we're the Israelites, brother. In case y'all didn't know that. These so called black people didn't know that we're the Israelites that the Bible speak of, man. Now we're about to share some history with you on this black festival. That Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, he was having a conversation with his men. He said, The people of Israel are, are stronger than I. Stronger than us. Y'all listen to us, man. Verse 8. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. No, we, brother, are more and, and mightier, mightier than, than we. we. No, equal to, brother, are no, more and, and mightier than we. we. No, Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, he said the people of Egypt, the people of Israel are more and mightier than them. Right. So you said it right, brother. We are mighty people, man. We are 
might have been. But Lord made us that way. Right. You know? You know, hey, when we was in Egypt, and we built Egypt from the ground up. You know, they had a little civilization before time, but we helped break Egypt through his providence, man. We the Egypt, we the reason why everybody speaks to Egypt, speak about Egypt to this day, man. Just like we the people that built America and everybody speak about America because we here. We built this place, man. The same way we built ancient Egypt. You understand that? Right. You understand? So brother, check this out, bro. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. The Lord gave us a nation name. And our name is the Israelites. Right? Let me ask you a question, bro. Who are the best athletes on the planet Earth? Who are the best athletes on the planet Earth? Come on now. Come on now. Huh? Huh? So this brother said that we are. We are the best athletes on the, on the planet Earth. Let me ask you something. Can you find this history anywhere else? Let me ask you something, brother. Can, can, can the Egyptian culture show us that we're the mightiest people on the planet Earth? No, you're not going to hear that. Can the Christianity teach us that we, so called black people, are the mightiest people on the planet Earth? You're not going to hear that. Not the fossil book, not that Quran, but the Bible. That's right. Your history book, so called black man. Your history book teaches you that you're the most mighty people on the planet right. Earth. You know that? We're the most mighty people on the planet Earth because the Bible told you to, man. That's why we can conquer anything, man. That's why we can, you know, not kill ourselves when we go through hell. Tell me about Revelation 2 and 9, man. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. We're about to show our people, man. Because our people think we're Gentiles. And, and that's what your Christian pastor say when you go to church. The pastor say you're Gentiles. Don't they say that, sister? Hey, sister, brother. And don't they say we're Gentiles in the Christian church? That's right. They tell us we're Gentiles. But we're not Gentiles. We're not no damn Gentiles. That's right. We're the people of the Bible. We're the Israelites. That's right. right. We're God's people, man. That's right. Come right, brother. Come on. That's a good thing, brother. That's a good brother right there. He know he's an Israelite. And you need to know the same thing, too. Figure that out, huh? Book of Revelation. Chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. The Lord said he know your tribulations. He said he know your works and your poverty, but thou art rich, you know? So you're the only people that can go to the Go to the planet Earth without killing yourself for not having a job. For killing yourself and not getting your, your car told. For killing yourself, for not killing yourself because you got laid off. The Lord chose you. That's what the Lord says. I know your works. I know your tribulations and poverty. But thou art rich because you're rich in spirit. You're rich in the Christ Lord, man. You're rich. The, poor, the planet Earth belongs to you. Did you know that so called black people? That the Lord only chose you? The Lord chose us the people. Continue, brother. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. The Lord said he know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews. You got a group of people out here claiming to be Jews. You got people that's claiming to be modern day historical Jews. But they can't prove it in the Bible. They can't prove it. Give me a Christian right now. Tell them step up to the plate. Step up here and prove that the so-called white man is the real Jew in the Bible. You know? We're going to prove that said the Lord, man. We're going to prove that we're the Bible, the people in the book. The Lord said prove all things. So you bring a white boy up here to say that he's a Jew, he can't prove it. But us so-called black men, the Israelites up here, we can prove that we're the people of the Bible. That's right. We can prove that we're the Jews in the Bible. We can prove that you're the greatest people on the planet Earth. Right. If you accept that thing, man. Right. You understand that? Continue, brother. And are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. The big Jews are where, brother? The synagogue, synagogue of, of Satan. Satan. They are the synagogue of Satan. The big Jews, the people that call the Jews on the planet Earth, they are the synagogue of Satan. They are not God's people, man. They don't walk like, like you. They don't dance like you. They don't look like the people that are described in the Bible. You know? The Bible said that David can dance. When you see 
see, when you see the big Jew, David, let them big Jews can't dance, man. Right. They can't dance, man. They can't That's dance right. like our people. That's right. Hey, man, you can't get a Jew up here. You can't get a fake modern day hook nose Jew that's going to prove we the people of the Bible. That's right. We can prove that we the people of the Bible, man. Right. What people on the planet Earth they got more flavor than our people, man? Y'all think God people was lame? You think God people had hook noses and wore a little black twig down their head? You gotta be out your mind, man. Bring it out, huh? Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. They do what, brother? But do lie. They lie. They lie and say they're the Jews of the Bible, man. But they're not the Jews of the Bible, man. They lied. They lied. Us so-called black people, we're the true Jews of the Bible, man. We're the true Jews of the Bible. We're the one that make this world go around. We make the world have flavor. We sprinkle the salt everywhere you see, man. We make the TV screen look good, man. Hey, what Will Smith say in one of his movies, he said, we make this thing look good, man. And we do. We do, man. We bring flavor back, man. Before then, you had that lame Tom Cruise, man, doing his thing. But we still stepped on the scene, we took over. Just like when our brothers, we firefighters, we the best firefighters on the planet Earth, man. You probably can't name your black man that's not the best firefighter on the planet Earth. You know? Anything we do, we do it great. That's right. You know that? Look at our brother right here from, from Bessemer, Alabama, uh, Bo Jackson, one of the best athletes on the planet Earth. On the planet Earth. Damn, they're like Superman around right here, man. The brother was climbing the walls and everything, man. But see, our people don't think you're nobody, man. Because the white man told you nobody. The white man told you you're a Gentile. He said you're a Gentile, you're nobody. But the Lord said that you're the Jews of the Bible. That you are his people. And they blaspheme against the Lord's name by calling them your name. They calling you their people. They're the people of the Bible. That's what they call themselves, man. But you're the people of the Bible, man.